All right, coming up in the round 11 AFL Today Rap Show. Alex, what was your favourite game of the round? Oh, it has to be Thursday night. My beloved Swans beating my hateful Western Bulldogs. Wrong! It was the Blues running over top <laughs> the Suns and also the best team in the AFL. That's right, Essendon, of course, getting another big Dreamtime win. There was also another draw. What are you doing, Collingwood? Oh, we're just like tying everything up, bro. <laughs> anyway, we have every rap from every single game. We've got the best players. We've got the best teams. We're talking it all out. Yeah. I don't know. What did you like most about this week? Uh, why the roof was closed at Marvel Stadium. I figured that out on Friday night. Nice one. Hey, also, umpires, what are they doing? <laughs> it's AFL Today. Check it out right now. You were there, Alex. Yep. Take us through it. Uh, the dogs, they got the jump on the Swans. So for the second week in a row, the Swans were like, oh, we need to start playing football. Um, so that could be something that teams could see earlier. The Swans are very, very slow to get into the games and they've conceded the first you know, four or five goals in both games. But... For Western Bulldogs, I believe the Dogs should have won. They were the better team on the night, but once again, didn't take advantage of everything. Another night, they've dominated just all the stats, but they didn't win the game. They had most possessions, most shots on goals, most clearances, most inside 50s, and they've lost. 12-16 to 16-6. There was probably four rush behind, so that's 12-12, but it's like you missed a couple of sitters, and the Swans just took advantage of their opportunities. Like 16-6 says that. Scores from intercept is where the pressure gauge is for the Swans. They scored 68 points uh, from intercept compared to 47, and 75 tackles to 54 was the big difference. The pressure from the Swans, despite not playing great, was just elite all night. It was just, we're going to outwork you and win this. But in saying that, Norton's knee injury, the concussion to Richards, who was probably best on ground at halftime, absolutely killed them. Scott, it was in the first three minutes. Those things happened. That's unlucky. Um, if I'm a Sydney Swans player... I would have stopped kicking it near Liam Jones. Just a thing. He f it felt like he took 15 intercept marks at one point. It's like, ah, uh, uh, Liam Jones. Okay. Uh, but for me, Chad Warner, he got angry in the, in the third quarter after that uh, horrible holding the ball decision. Probably took mark of the year of the week of the month. Kicked four goals, had 25 touches. He got three Brownlow votes and everyone just like, hey, hey, he's the guy. Like, it's, it's one of them. If Heaney's not playing well, Warner steps up. If it's not Warner, Errol steps up. Of note, Errol played 124 of 128 minutes. His aim is to get to 100% game time. He had one rotation That's all night. Awesome. And he just kept running up and down the wing. Uh, just cutting laps, bro. Yeah, just cutting laps. It was ridiculous. Also, we've called it the Jamara game. He had one of those nights where he had the sticky fingers, but he couldn't convert. Yep. But there was just times he's like, I'm Jamar and I'm just going to win this. And he's tried to do it. And same with uh, Sam Darcy. He has those games where the ball just literally looks attracted to him. He's just like, oh, I've got the ball. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. I really didn't even try, but it just landed he's on just, me. He just puts himself in these great positions and he's just – He's a freak. Yep. Trelaw had 30. Yep. Bont was pretty good. Um, you didn't really notice Bont at the ground, though. Didn't kick a goal as well, which is like one of those Bont games. You're like, yeah. ah, just the impact. It's yeah. Just that little bit lessened. Um, still five clearances for him. I think six for Trelaw as well. But, Day one yeah. center clearance is 16 to eight. And this came despite Grundy dominating the ruck. Overall, the ruck was 51 hitouts to 34. But Grundy got the better of English, even though it gave him that love tap at one point. Yep. Uh, anyway. Good win. Swans need the bye. They were cooked in the last quarter, just like against Carlton. But hey, they're 10 and 1. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>